Today we're going to talk about how to set up the content inside a Bootstrap website. In the previous episode, we talked about how to get into the developer tool and view the website as a cell phone or a tablet if we needed to see it like that. So today we're going to talk about the grid system we have inside Bootstrap, which is used for actually setting up the content inside our website. So what we're going to do here is based off the, not the previous lesson, but the one before, we're going to go ahead and add more content inside the body tag of our website. So down inside our body tag where we created a container called Fluid or Container Fluid, which means that we have all the content going from the left side of the browser to the right side without including our content inside a wrapper, we can actually go ahead and go underneath the paragraph tag we created in here and start setting up the sections for our website. Now when it comes to Bootstrap, we have a class called Row which we use inside our container fluid or inside our container class in order to divide up the content we have inside, you know, our actual website. So if I were to go inside the container fluid div tag and say, okay, I have a section inside my website that needs to be split up into three parts. What I can do then is I can go ahead and create another div box. Now this div box is going to have a class called row. Inside the row class, we're going to go ahead and add a couple more divs. And this is because, like I said, I wanted to divide up the content into three different parts. Now, when I do this, we're going to go ahead and add a specific class to each of these divs. At least in this case, since I want three divs, I'm going to go ahead and add just three of them, like so. And inside these divs, I'm going to go ahead and give them a class. Now, the class name is going to be col, which stands for column. I'm going to say dash. And then we need to decide which specific device we want to optimize this specific section for. So let's say I want to view this website inside a tablet. Then we can actually make the content move instead of just resizing to left and right. We can actually make the content go underneath each other automatically by telling it which device we want it to start jumping around for when we get to that device. So let's say I have a tablet and I say, okay, well, the tablet screen is quite small. So once I view this website on a tablet, at least this section here, then I want the content to go underneath each other instead of next to each other because it makes sense on a tablet. Now, when it comes to these devices, we have different keywords for each device. For phones, it's called XS. For tablets, it's SM. For desktops, it's MD. And for larger desktops, such as, you know, much bigger screens, we can do LG. So just to give an example here, let's actually go ahead and optimize for tablets. So we're gonna go ahead and write SM dash. And then we need to tell the code that we're actually dividing up into three parts inside this little section here, meaning that we want you know, a grid system that goes equally three across. So we need to make sure we take the number 12 and divide by three, meaning that we're gonna go ahead and get four inside each of these classes here. So four plus four plus four equals 12, because inside Bootstrap, we have 12 grids going across. So if you want to divide these up into equal sections, then of course each section across is going to be four grids. So this is how we can divide up the section inside our website. If I were to add some content to this, like adding some text, I can go ahead and say, this is the left side. I can actually go ahead and copy this and paste it inside these other two. And then we can say, this is the center. Let's go ahead and delete side. And this is the right side. So if I were to go ahead and save this and go inside my browser, you guys can see that now we have three pieces of content going horizontally inside this website. If I were to give these a background color, let's actually go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a style sheet. So I'm just gonna go ahead and save this inside my bootstrap root folder. I'm gonna say style.css. I'm gonna go ahead and say we have a class called content1-left, curly brackets. I'm gonna go ahead and say background color is going to be red. Then we're gonna go ahead and copy this class two more times because we have three different pieces of content going horizontally. I'm gonna call this one center. And the last one is going to be right. Then we're gonna change the color to green and purple. I'm gonna go ahead and save this and I'm gonna go ahead and add the actual style sheet inside our index file. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to the top here, right underneath where we have our meta tags. I'm gonna say link. I'm gonna go and link to a style sheet. Again, you guys know how to create this link to a style sheet by now. So I'm just gonna go and do it really quickly, like so. And what we can do now is we can actually go and add these classes we just created inside the style sheet to each section so we can actually see them. So I'm gonna go ahead and say, we call this one content one left, like so. 
Just going to copy it so it's much faster. I'm going to say center and right. So now we should actually see the background color of this constant here. So as you guys can see, we now have a grid system going three across. Now you might be asking, well, you know, right now it's actually quite small. It's not very tall at all. We want to have content. Let's say I want to have a background color inside a much bigger section with the text being centered in the middle of the actual box. And I want this to be some kind of link going somewhere else on the website. Well, what we could actually do is we can go ahead and change the styling of these you know, contents, these boxes we have inside the grid system. So I could actually just go ahead and add a height and say we want to have it 400 pixels as an example. If I go back inside the website, you guys will see we now have much bigger grid systems. So we can actually put content inside these boxes here. Of course, right now, it doesn't look very pretty, but once we do actually have, let's say, a really nice background picture, maybe three different background pictures that goes well together, we could have an inside each of these, we could have the text centered, maybe a little icon or something. Then we get something that looks more like a website. Now, the next thing that I want to show you guys is regarding the class that we gave the columns. Right now, we did actually set it to SM, which means that right now we're actually optimizing for tablets, meaning that all the content inside the website is going to jump underneath each other when we hit that tablet width. So if we were to actually go inside my browser and resize it so we can actually see it right now, we're still in desktop mode, but if I size it down just slightly, you guys will notice that all the content is jumping underneath each other, which is what we want when we're inside a tablet. So if I were to resize it up just slightly till we're not inside tablet mode anymore, then go inside my code again and change this to the desktop optimization. So we're going to say MD instead. I'm going to resize my browser and what you guys will notice is that all the content jumps underneath each other again. Because right now we said that, okay, we hit the desktop mode, then we want the content to look like, like this again. Okay, so right now we do actually need to get much more beyond a regular monitor inside a desktop. I do actually sit on a 2K monitor right now. So I can actually resize it out to a point where, you know, inside a larger desktop. So now that we know this, we can actually go ahead and mess around with the number here, just to show you guys before we end off the episode. Because if I were to delete the middle one, like so, right now, this is not going to be good because we need to make sure that these numbers here add up to 12, and right now it only adds up to eight. So if I were to do it this way, I would either need to change these to sixes, since six plus six is 12, and then we would actually get a different type of layout where it's gonna be 50-50, or we can actually go ahead and say, well, let's actually change this one to three. And then what I can do is change this to a nine. So now we get a different layout because nine plus three is actually 12, so this is okay. But if I go and refresh the browser, you guys will notice that now we get a different proportion. So now this one is going to be three grids and this is going to be nine grids. So this is how we can mess around with the layout inside Bootstrap. I hope this was something you guys found useful and I'll see you guys next time.